How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to an early alpha look at Holy Potatoes A Spy Story. And I do want to stress that it is an early alpha look so the game's not going to be feature complete, things could be changing in the meantime. We had actually taken a look at the previous Holy Potatoes What the Hell, which was kind of like a cooking game. So now they've done a weapon shop, a cooking game, and a spy game? Those are the three I have played and know of. That's, I don't know if they've done more than that. Holy Potatoes Were in Space, that's what the other one is. That one might have even been the first one. I don't even know. Ren, oh, he's going without me, I swear. It's been talking to me. No one must know about this. It would totally ruin my cool guy image. Ha! <laughs> I heard that, Ren. A talking arm. That's what was talking to him. Forget what I said. Nothing just happened. Billy from Taste Book. What you looking at, Billy? Look at this silly Billy. Uh, n nothing. Nothing, I'm sure. That looked like ex excellent blackmail material. Did you post that yourself? Well, uh, of, of course not. Haven't you seen Taste Book? G. Ian and his gang totally got me. Oh, the big G. I heard he steals and extorts lunch money from the young spudlings as well. I, I don't know how to stand up to him. Aw, oh, poor Billy. It's his dumb haircut. You can. You just gotta throw a few punches right in his acupoints. Throwing punches isn't always the solution unless you have a robot arm. Alternatively, I could build Billy a non-lethal cheer BX palm squeezing pistol designed to be easily concealed and also for, for great for self-protection. Yes, yes, I don't know if I said any of those words right. You need to be armed. I don't know what the hell that pistol was. This is set up way too fast. Arm! Wait, did your arm just talk? Ah, so it's not just me. That's good. <laughs> You're gonna get Billy expelled. The pistol's a terrible suggestion. Though, not nearly as terrible, uh, terrible as the joke that came after. Oh my god, in the settings, you could set the typewriter to faster or slower, and I was thinking of, like, Pokemon games or whatever, where you go to battle one, and it's like, you are fighting youngster Joey. And I was like, I don't want that. I want it to be fast typewriter, fast typewriter. And then, uh, I, I guess I left auto cutscene thing on, and I was too panically trying to read all that. I didn't realize I could turn it off on the fly. Okay. That was stressing me out trying to keep up with that. <laughs> Not nearly as terrible as the joke that came after. Anyway, we have to find more sneaky ways to take down big potatoes like him. <laughs> the ghost of Tomatoes Edison has bestowed upon me a flash of genius through telepathic brainwaves. So there are other food-based characters that are non-potatoes. Not again. Can't you just say I've got an idea? <clears throat> as I was about to say before I was rudely interrupted. Let's set up our own spy agency and we'll name them. I mean, we could just think of it uh, something for SPUDS to stand for. Super p p Potato Undercover Detective Spies. We could just be like the CIA and it would be the Chips of Idaho Association. I don't know. <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing for A. Spy agencies are always acronyms. They never have a cool name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with MI6. I, I'm, I guess that's how I'm gonna stylize it, even though that's not typical. I'll be your first client. Let's hire our first spy. Click on the Spy Academy. Oh, it's me, Super Maria. Although she didn't say her name very super. It was mostly Super Maria, our race car driver from the team Super Maria Sisters. Uh, she's got a fan. She's been recognized. You want to have one of those celebrity spies on the team, you know? Four stats of a spy. Fight, intelligence, stealth, and charm. Her intelligence is the highest, so she has an observation focus. You're on the team. The Iron Winter Soldier arm wills it. Hey, he was a spy. We should get him on the team. <laughs> Bucky Barnes is a good potato name. You don't even have to change anything there. Is that they train spies just through online courses? Welcome to our spy agency, Super Maria. You're welcome for the doubling of your intelligence. I wish that was as simple as that. Pickled eggplants, hey? And then just a shelf of beef. Your potatoes live a strange life. Also, those are monster eggs. I assume it's not just a basket of peeled potatoes. That'd be sick. <laughs> Time to make preparations for our first mission. How about we gather some information about G. Ian first. Uh, G Gian? Just G. Ian, probably. Maybe we can use something against him. My superior brain cells have been activated to achieve the peak of enlightenment. Not again. 
Next time, just say, I've got another horrible idea. Hey, you haven't even heard it yet. All we need is one of my greatest inventions of all time. The spy booger. We just need to plant this little bugger booger in Ian's room, and we'll soon have some dirt on that spud. That's quite disgusting, but might do the trick. Oh my god, this guy's facial expressions are unbelievable. Also, I like the... I didn't realize before the arm got eyes when it talked to him. I was too busy trying to keep up with the speed of everything. Ren, don't ever use my fingers to pick your nose. We'll just use the other hand then. That should be fine, right? You probably don't want jagged chunks of metal claw up in your own nose anyways. It does make some tiny booping noises, but I don't think he'll notice. It's just a booping booger in the corner? Oh, so we're actually just going to be carrying out missions on the fly, hey? Gotta choose a spy. She'll face obstacles. It looks like both obstacles are going to be people. Is this Bullguard? Is he one of the people from Holy Potato Potatoes with the Hell? He kind of looks like he belongs in Hell. He's weak to intelligence, so we can trick him. And then how about the next one, though? Ah, they're weak to evade and they resist intelligence. I guess evasion is our next highest skill. I don't say evasion, I say avoision. Good, it's a low risk mission plan. We can just go ahead and execute that though and see everyone run around and do their thing. This is the suspicion meter. If the meter becomes full, we fail the mission. You can also abort the mission. They have to recover if you abort, but it's not as bad as them failing. Oh, it's it, it's gonna play out like a whole of like, Jesus, there, there's a pretty semi-complicated animation here that goes on about uh, showing the different evasion and like dancing around and trickery and all these different things. I don't think I want to watch that every single time. It'll, I, I'm really curious how the hell that's going to work out when there's like five missions happening at once or whatever. Maybe there's a max of three or something, I don't know. But she leveled up a bunch from that. And she received valuable footage. And you get rewards. Money, experience, no driving skills, and not a single iPod. Damn, should have tried to swipe the iPod while we were there. <laughs> you get to see the mission briefing of like the 0200 hours sort of breakdown of everything. Man, it took an hour. It took an hour to trick this guard and an hour to evade the other guard. That shit takes a while, doesn't it? The spy burger booping around in his room with his weird unibrow and his My Little Pony and tell his buddies. And the, I don't know, Sparney? Seems like they that's the gist of how they name things in this game. Hmm, what's that noise? <sighs> Whatever. We'll just take a nice snooze standing. That's totally fine. Just, just sleep it off there, little G Ian. We've hit solid gold, sheeple. Look at what we've recorded. Something of him sleeping? Such a sensitive soul. Ian has a stuffed bunny? <laughs> I know just what to do with this. Let's make this his taste book profile picture. That sounds slightly risky. Let's organize some training for our spies first. I think we only have the one spy, so it should be pretty easy to organize. That was exciting. My heart is still uh, racing. Well, I used to be a racer, so I'm probably a little bit used to it. I know a thing or two about racing. I'm tired. Can't wait to get back and take a nap in the barracks. It's a rest time. Oh, she just immediately makes her way back on her own. I think always. That was wild. Let's give her some time to rest. Meanwhile, let's prepare for the next mission. Super Maria has high intelligence, but her other stats are pretty low. Let's build a training facility. Oh, man. I get to, like, manage my little spy compound here? I guess this is the town, because otherwise we would be infiltrating our own building. Need to train lots of things. The Chuchi Tunnel. Build for five hundo. Can build and destroy things. You can make your own path. Let's check on our spy. Ooh, I'm fully refueled. Seems like Super Maria had a good rest. Now let's start her training. Only 80 bucks. That's a, a steal. I'm a gonna get you these pesky banana peels. Is that a reference to more like Mario Kart stuff? I would assume so. Ah, oh, I feel much stronger now. I'm ready to take on the world and save my prince. So yes, more. It's just continuing more further down the Mario thing, which I very much enjoy. It only raised her by one. Maybe that 80 bucks didn't go as far as I thought it did. Tasks panel, hey? Ah, oh, nice. I get to just take things over from here. That's the end of the tutorial stuff already. So, task 
book, sabotage, hire two spies, use Tucci Tunnel five times, and build a pile of homework. I think we just try and go straight for the next mission, right? The taste book sabotage. Sneak into G. Ian's room and change his taste book profile picture. The client is Billy. Maria is going to be the spy as per usual. And first things first, it's just a mysterious guard. Doesn't matter what the hell we do to him. Let's sneak attack him. Let's just punch him. Let's see how that goes. See if that uh, like alerts anyone anything. Oh, this guy's even weak to punching. So yeah, let's just <laughs> punch him too. He's super alert. You're not gonna charm him at all. He drinks ten cups of coffee daily. So it's but luckily those don't provide any resistance to punching. He should have went with decaf if he wanted that. It's showtime. Get those fists ready. Just start cracking knuckles and get in there and start throwing fisticuffs. So first one, the guard appeared. Sneak attack. It's super effective. Ah, I wonder if they'll both be considered sneak attacks, though, or if that's only because that was the first one. Hey, spies ready for hire. They're just letting me know over there. I maybe could do that while this is playing out. Probably even. Ooh, things were decently suspicious there after that first fight. Legit, I don't know what those two things are. <laughs> I've even included a code that prevents the photo from being deleted. He is getting a taste of his own medicine. Thank you, Rexa. Ren, you guys are so cool. Well, your, like, Kill Bill outfit is pretty cool, too. It should maybe be, like, pulled up over your shoulders at the very least. No one's is. That's a weird thing I've never noticed about these potato people before, is they have no shoulders on their clothes. And just awful haircuts pretty much across the board. <laughs> if only I weren't so cowardly, maybe I could be a spy, too. Also, these spies operate very much out in the open, it seems. You're always free to join us when you're ready. Our spy found this codex. I've been trying to figure out how to decrypt it. In G. Ian's room? He seems like he's a little kid. Are you sure he didn't just get Commander Keen from his parents or something? The beams of inspiration from above and in have intercepted my brainwaves to bestow upon me a great- Stop that! Just say I have an idea. We need a decryption lab. He just pat me on the head because that's all the more infuriating. We have to obtain some software and blueprints and build our own computers. A cipher machines and then start hacking. Calm down, Rexa. It's just a floppy disk. Hey, these will all come in handy in our spy business. Man, we actually do have a lot to do, don't we? This being, being in the spy game is a little, a little tough. Didn't expect things to be so demanding. All right, well then we should definitely build, well not the pile of homework, no, there was that was one of our tasks though, right, was to build the pile of homework? Yeah, let's get the pile of homework built then. We'll stick it next door to the other thing. Broccoli tree, for zero dollars? Oh no, never mind, their decoration points are zero, you have to pay for them. Nice, 50 bucks for building that, that's uh, that's nice, you, you get money just for spending money. I should try and hire another spy, maybe it's not really, maybe it's not time for that just yet. Let's look into the cost, and, and just see who's available. Well, Mew Mew, Tony Starch, and Black Windows, we got two Marvel references and a cat. Hmm, I thought Black Windows' charm would be a little higher. Only buys its branded boots from Mew Mew. Mew Mew buys from Mew Mew. Owns a special shoot suit that requires ironing. And knowledgeable in use of Windows 9.5. Mew Mew is much more of like a straight up one set of skills thing. Like she, Black, Black Windows is a little bit more well rounded. Um, we'll go with the Charmer. It seems like Maria was already a pretty good fighter. Let's just go crazy with the charm, get a diet regime going on there, and, and amp, amp that up even higher. New spy hired. Noise. And that's another another task we got laid out for ourselves there. Use pile of homework five times, and hire a third spy are, are my new tasks. The decryption lab. Let's get our hands on some software and blueprints to set up our own decryption lab. Client ourselves. Well, can I take a look first, actually, and see what's going to be needed? Uh, resistant to charm, actually. Weak to intelligence and pretty generalized. So I think it makes more sense to keep using Super Maria. Sorry, Mew Mew, you're still just going to intern it back at the, uh, the old shack there. You don't get to come on a mission just yet. Weak to fighting, you're going to get punched. Weak to trickery, you're going to get tricked. And you're going to get punched. <laughs> I like resorting to punching when I don't know where else to spend our spend our efforts or anything like that. 
How come, how come Rexa, I don't know, I don't remember his name. How come he seems to like attend these all the time? Fight is not very effective. Oh crap, did I accidentally select what he was weak against? Or strong against or whatever? I, I might have screwed that one up. I can totally click around and do other things, but it literally, it pauses this in the meantime. So I guess I could start setting up an, a new mission. But yeah, I can't really, ooh, I might need to abort. Ooh, that was risky. That was high risk. I'm glad I stuck it through though. But yeah, I guess uh, I could start setting up a new mission while one is playing out, but I've, I'm curious if two will play out at the same time. I got a D on that one. I didn't do very good. It was not a, that was not a great effort overall. The Decryption Lab Station 1. The computer keeps breaking down, but at least it's a start. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick this out in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't let you because it needs the path. <laughs> I'm going to stick it way out in the corner here just because it wouldn't make any sense to put a computer there. And that's literally the only reason why I'm doing it. Great job. We have a Decryption Lab now. Look, the exclamation symbol signifies that we have codices to decrypt. Code, code, codices? It seems like made up nonsense to me. The green floppy disk. We have a stock of two of them. I don't know where we got a second one, but we have two. Unlock rewards and new features. I'll leave it to you to decrypt the codex on your own time. Well, let's just do it now. Oh, you do need to con commit a spy to it. I thought that might be the case. Yes. Yes, you're you're on the job, Mew Mew. We knew, I knew you, we hired you for something. I Apparently it's for decrypting codexes. I hadn't really given it a ton of thought of what it would actually be, what your job might be. We have new missions coming in, it looks like. Addictive coffee. A good coffee is important to start the day right. Client Barry Star. And we have Mewana. Meow, Meowana. Meowy can't do without his legendary fish hook. Uh, they are worth the same amount, but it makes the most sense to put a uh, cat on a cat thing, so I'm gonna do addictive coffee with Maria. I'm gonna start both of them, apparently. I, I, I guess it lets you do both. So that's that's totally cool too. I don't mind having both running. Great. Maybe we hire one more spy just because it starts you with so much money anyways. Ooh, all new. So Domino didn't bother changing her name at all. Pactato and Faceless. Oh, it's um no name faceless from spirited away I feel like I want him a spy with a lot of spirit I want him basically just because that his favorite singer is Shakira because her hips don't lie I can't think of it I can't think of you could fit waka 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 in one of her songs I'm trying so desperately and I can only think of like one Shakira song his specialty is contortion I don't understand how a uh, Pac-Man or a potato, let alone a Pac-Tato's specialty can be contortion. None of that adds up. I'm going to take Faceless because it's creepy and I love that movie, but then I'm going to force him to be uh, have a completely different skill set than he currently does. Just because I don't have anyone who's punch-based yet, and I want that to be a thing. I want him on the team. I'll, I'll ma we'll make it work. How about that? Ah, yeah, nice. I, I hired three spies. So no, hire four spies. Could have guessed. Could have guessed that would be the next one. How's the decryption going? Ah, oh, okay. It was probably done a while ago. I just had to click on it. Training unlocked. Cheesy novels. New build, build available in the build menu. I just achieved a significant moment of enlightenment. That just means you have another terrible idea. Hey, you haven't even heard it yet. You know what would be cool? Our own gadget lab. I'll build the most legendary stuff ever. Bluetooth toasters, watermelon basketballs, portable holes, a whale washer. First a decryption lab, now a gadget lab too? Man, you need all this. All of this is important spy gadgetry. Wait, why do you even have to wash a whale? Build more mechanical arms. <laughs> Thank you, army, the, the arm, arm, ar army arm face, whatever. Speaking of that, we still don't know the identity of the mysterious doctor who built your arm after the explosion, Ren. Hey, arm, who created you? Mama gave birth to me. <laughs> This is why I didn't even bother asking. Hmm. Back to my gadget lab plans then. First, I'm going to learn all about product design and gadget invention from Tomatoes Edison PTE Limited. Uh, it's not easy to get an internship, internship there, Rexa. The competition is fierce. Internship. Then we're spies. Spies! <laughs> We've unlocked two missions. Let's check them out. Uh, we already have those. I I've, already, I've already set that up. 
Ooh, some tiles on the map are locked. We don't have much information about the obstacles in the locked tiles. We can send, spend some starch and obtain intel later on. More intel will improve the accuracy of risk level for the mission. Hmm, or you can go into the mission without intel and rely on our spy's best stats. You can also find new routes by researching lock tiles. Different routes will have different sets of obstacles. Interesting. I'm willing to risk it. Let's put the best spy we got on the job. So skills, observation, find clues before striking, slightly increases spy's intelligence for the next four obstacles. Let's try that. Oh, but you would use it at the obstacle. That's kind of strange, isn't it? to try and observe things at an obstacle. Uh, we have better avoidion than we do fighting, so we'll try we'll try that out. Medium risk? Let's just give it a whirl. I don't know how that whole... I'm curious to see the thing in the corner now, actually. So the first thing is, oh, just a regular guy, but he just uses observation, which... That wasn't really like I don't know. I guess I guess you can use anything against anyone. It's just that it's gonna work better against some fight boosted by observation. Does observation really boost fight? It seems like they come from separate categories, don't they? Ah, uh, gadget blueprints and vehicle blueprints. That's what these this stuff up top is here. Well, got away without being hardly suspicious at all. That worked way better than I would have guessed, and we haven't. Upgraded Spy Academy now. Recruit better spies and enhancements unlocked. Military drill and ninja training. Walls are dedicated, decorated with inspirational quotes now. And the max spy capacity increased to four. Improved barracks and a toy factory, which I don't think we have yet. You can now work on level one gadgets like the spy booger and the cat paws. Who is new? No spies available to hire. Hey, interesting. I thought there might be something new to mess around with. Addictive coffee. We're gonna send Faceless in here just cuz. Just cuz it doesn't matter. I'm just kind of goofing around with shit right now anyways. You know what? Punch them both. Sneak attack them. Doesn't matter to me whatsoever what you do there. I forgot to read this. The line for my favorite coffee place is always so horrendously long. Help me obtain their recipe so I never have to wait in line again. Client Berry Star. I guess we'll keep moving along building new things as well while we're at it. Cheese drizzled novels served on a fancy plate. To... to boot up your charm a little bit more and the gadget factory I'm gonna build the cheesy novels first and another decryption that needs taken care of I guess we're putting Mew Mew back on the job I guess this is now officially her job is to take care of this stuff oh there's new spies again now Maria share potato Charles Angel and Maruto it's not, I thought it, I'm trying to say it as if it was a more potato-y thing. Here's somebody who's actually fight-based for the first time, but it's too late. We already have Faceless. To her, love means nothing. Just an angel called Charles, and oops, blame the Census Bureau for the typo. I guess it's literally just, they just changed the one letter. I guess that is that's going all that's going on there. They didn't do much more to squeeze it into more of a potato-based punnedness. Faceless, you did good. It was some awfully good punching you had going on over there. Glad to have you on the team. Ah, you got an S rank. He did He did much better. And we trained and unlocked the dipping bar. New building available. Oh. So what do we have here? The dipping bar raises strength for potatoes to do their dips into a pot of ranch. Seems like a good way to get them, uh, you know, to become more tasty. I don't really know what the predator situation is going on around here, but... I don't really want my potato spies getting snacked on, you know? Oh man, we got another- Oh, okay, we just- we just got the, uh, the endings. Now we can claim the reward. We hadn't actually- you have to go in and claim your own rewards there. It doesn't do it automatically. That's news to me. And we'll slap down the toy factory. Ooh, it's a little bit large. I'm glad there's still space for it. I was not really planning ahead at all. These are all the gadget templates. Gadgets can significantly boost our spy stats during a mission. Uh, the spies themselves do have to be the ones to build it though before a mission and you can level up when you have enough gadget templates. Looks like a rubber glove, someone trying to imitate being a chicken, a weird jack-in-the-box but the jack is a skull, a Mr. Potato Head, a uh, Pickle Rick, <laughs> a fishing rod, a weird triangular lamp, and then Spider-Man's chest spider of course. All of it's so obvious. Oh, school Trouble 1! 
It seems the spudlings are not adjusting well to school. Client Bucky Beak. And current mission wrecked it rough one of two. Oh, this is a, a two-parter. So what do we have? Uh, evading. Anything goes. Anything goes and evading. So I think we want to send our best evader on the case, which right now is actually Mew Mew. I wanted to send them anyways because I haven't really had them do anything except for decode, but now there's an actual place where you are needed. So yeah, let's get you on the case here. Ooh, throw your charm out there. More charm as well and finish it off and then there's a quick little sprinkle of evading. I think if we mix and match it a little bit more then maybe, maybe it plays out a little bit better. Ooh, you can up the speed of things. Let's let's try and put that in a hyper speed and just kind of like quickly see how that plays out. The charming works kind of well. She's taken on suspicion at literally every single stop and quite a lot at that one stop there in particular. Yeah, none of that was great. I think a C level is probably like representative of the efforts that you actually put forward there. You definitely didn't do better than that. The main task is build the spy booger. So I guess let, let's build the spy booger quickly. I'm always hungry before lunch. Let's turn the clocks forward so the lunch room will be open earlier. Not not a really big ask on that one. Faceless, you're going in on this one again. You're just going to punch your way through. Here's where you'd equip those gadgets. Ah, uh, the Coast Guard resists fighting and trickery. So I guess you're going to have to avoid. Observant. The coast is never clear with this one. <laughs> Sneak attack. And a regular attack. Not necessarily sneaky. And we'll just uh, we'll trick this last one just for fun, I guess. Just giving you something to do while Maria finishes up the actual main task here. They were just giving you busy work, pretty much. Oh man, I have so many, so many separate side tasks built up at this point. There's no way I'm finishing all those. There's too many. Well, now that I set all this in motion, I might as well let Faceless finish this one mission first. Maybe, maybe he gets caught. I don't know. I'm. If he does, I'm not going to abort it. I'm going to risk it right to the last possible thing. A D rank, but I don't mind, man. You got results. Even if they were shady, inaccurate results and almost resulted in the entire corporation being brought down, that's the kind of independent thinking we want here at... MI6, that's who we were. <laughs> a micro spy bot that dances boogie. 60% chance to activate, so not necessarily always. Maybe just when you're at risk, I guess. Or it could just be random. I thought that would kick off the next little cutscene sequence, maybe. But uh, if that's not gonna, if that's not gonna set off the next little thing, wait a second. Did I fail this? I botched that one. I didn't actually complete that mission. Whoops! I don't know. I missed something there. Definitely didn't do what I was supposed to. Let's let's boost you up there, you little charmer. And then I I don't know. I I can start to see the how things are gonna come together here. This is I, I just kind of want to do a first look at the game. Ooh, you can zoom zoom out. It's just for whatever reason, you know, you drag this thing around like crazy and it hardly moves at all. Wow, why is that so slow? Maybe that's my mouse wheel that's broken because that's excessively slow moving, isn't it? Yeah, I wasn't intending on doing a full series on the game or anything. Just a quick look, see kind of how you start hiring the spies, take on missions, tackle missions, how you organize your different people across different things, building gadgets, but blah, blah, blah. I think that's a nice good look at what the game has to offer. Pretty simple management game, fun spy theme, and then if you're into the holy potatoes thing, then yeah, that's got all that for you there too. I didn't even have any crazy moment of like, oh, this is clearly broken due to early access or anything. It seems to me like the game is in really good shape right now. It's like totally playable in its current state. So you guys can look forward to this coming out sometime later this year. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll have more info about it down in the description and I'll see you again soon.